Good afternoon my YouTube viewers. It's Crystal here. I'm just here because I wanted to make another video. This video is going to be how to create the Weevil distribution and the probability distribution function and the cum cumulative distribution function. So in order to create the Weevil distribution, first thing that you need to do is you need to set up your alpha, which is your scale, and your beta, which is your shape. So in this particular instance, we have an alpha of three and a beta of two, but you can change, the alpha and the beta change the shape of the um, graph that's created. So you can see, we can see an alpha of five and see, and then a shape of five. And then so you see, what the big difference that makes. So we'll go back and make an alpha, a shape of three, a beta of three. We'll go back and make a beta of three. And we'll say an alpha of three and see what happens. Or an alpha of six and see what happens. And so basically you can experiment with this and select the best shape that you want. And then after you've select, set your alpha and your beta parameters, then we're going to input it. So we're going to input a random number between 0 and 4. So you do that, you do rand times 4, that gives you a random number between 0 and 4. And we're going to copy this all the way down until uh, row 103. So that's going to give you approximately 100 or 101 rows of data. And then after you've done that, what you want to do is you want to have the weave full PDF. And then so you're going to type in the function equals weevil.dist brackets a3 comma dollar sign e dollar sign 3 comma dollar sign f dollar sign 3 comma and then false is for your PDF and you're going to copy that formula all the way down to row 103 so you'll get the distribution on all 100 or 101 uh, input variables and you can see here this is the um, input this is the graph that the PDF makes now what you want to do is you want to make the CDF which is the cumulative distribution variable and so you want to in cell D3 you want to input the formula weevil.dist brackets a3 comma dollar sign e dollar sign 3 comma dollar sign f dollar sign 3 comma true and you'll notice that the only difference between the PDF and the CDF is the PDF says false and the CDF says true. That's the only difference. And then you copy that all the way down to row 103. And this is the um, graph that the CD make, CDF makes. So your PDF is your probability and your CDF is the um, cumulative. And the cumulative uh, has to equal 1. So we've already uh, talked about manipulating the alpha and the beta to change the shape of the curve. And um, we showed you the, um, the graph of the PDF and the CDF. But if you want to insert another graph, then what you would do is you You highlight um, all the cells that you want to build a graph of. And you say insert, and then you say recommended charts. And you'll see here we've got our scatter plot, but it doesn't look very good. It doesn't, I went through and looked at all the charts, and it doesn't look very good it's um 
the scatter plot is the best plot that you can do in this instance. So we've got the scattered plot, and the only and it doesn't even look good there. It doesn't look good there. The only plot that it looks good on is the X Y chart. So you would click onto it, and then you would click OK. But since we've already got the scatter plot in there, I'm not going to um, use it. And then so for the CDF, the cumulative distribution function, you highlight and then um, so we I don't think we're gonna have a lot of success with this either. But again, there's your CDF, and if you want to, there's your CDF with the scatter plot. And you can see it doesn't look very good. The only plot that looks halfway decent is the XY scatter plot, and everything else just doesn't look good at all by histogram. So um, we're not going to create another chart but if we wanted to we click OK and then another chart would come up on the screen. So we've only got the two charts that give the, dis the, the shapes that we want to see and that's it really. So I think that's going to conclude this video for the Weevil distribution. If you like uh, this program please like and subscribe and I'm going to conclude this but um, uh, yeah, thank you so much for watching my video, and I'll be making another video for you in the future on another statistical distribution.